when Steffi got to eight years old, we had a conversation. And the conversation went along the lines of, Steffi, at some point, you're probably gonna get a boyfriend. And you're probably even gonna get married. Steffi said, no, I'm not. <laughs> I don't like boys. Boys are not even in it for me. And for marriage, not a chance. She actually wrote something down that day, said, if you feel so, so, you know, hard about it, write it down and I'm gonna read it on your wedding day. <laughs> so I, I've had this for 20 years in the safe. So I don't think I'm gonna, I want Steph to read it actually. To your dad, I promise that I will never have a boyfriend. <laughs> Every bloke who has a daughter will know what is this weasel like that's taking my <laughs> that's taking my daughter out. Catherine Stewart are out at the time, so it's my payback now. I'll say it from my side of things. Um, so yeah, so Steph and I are upstairs in Steph's bedroom watching Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this guy up in my daughter's bedroom? <laughs> so I said to Cam, what do you think about this? <laughs> she said, what's up with you? She's 20. Stop bothering. They're all right, really? Why do you think that? And the I, this was because I'm a modern mum. <laughs> Anyway, so I was prowling down and she went, I'm going to bed as well, I can't be doing with this. So off she went upstairs, but she didn't go to bed. She went straight into Steffi's room. Kath came running up the stairs. She didn't really knock on the door, no, straight in. Um, and she said to Steph, she said, your dad's fuming. He's prowling around like a lion. <laughs> and then she said to me, she said, Ian, you better go home, he's not happy. 10 minutes goes by and the stairs creaks and Steffi came in and said, Dad, are you, are you all right? I said, do I look all right? <laughs> she said, well, Ian's going now. And I said, why, does he think he was stopping all night? <laughs> and Ian said, no, Mr. Thompson, I'm not stopping all night, I'm going now. <laughs> Steph saw him out, came back in, tore a hell of a strip off me. <laughs> Tell me I was an embarrassing father. I'd done all those sort of things. And I learnt a few things that night. I learnt that I was an idiot. And I learnt that this guy was respectful. Because he'd been brought up by his mum and dad, respectfully. And he's been respectful ever since. He's looked after her. When Steph goes out to three o'clock in the morning, he picks her up. It doesn't matter what time. He goes and gets her. And you know what? That's good enough for me. Stephanie, I promise to give you my love and friendship and to be there for you when you need me most. To laugh and cry with you. To laugh and cry with you. To trust and confide in you. To trust and confide in you. To comfort and support you. To comfort and support you. And all that I have. And all that I have. I share with you. I share with you. I will stand with you. As we share this life. As we share this life. And cherish the memories. And cherish the memories. We make together. We make together. Stephanie, this ring I give to you. As a sign of the promise. As a sign of the promise. Made on this our wedding day. Made on this our wedding day. And as a pledge to respect you. And as a pledge to respect you. And to grow with you. And to grow with you. The whole of my life. The whole of my life. But when Steph was in London uh, on her Hindu, she was wearing her white dress, um, beautiful white dress, and on two separate occasions. Um, a little girl came up to her and they asked Steph if she was a real princess. And the first time I saw her walk down the aisle today, 
I think those two little girls were right. I need to give her a good kiss. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> said to me, I've met someone, it's not just anybody, she is the one. And I thought this is, this is, this is good and proper, this is really good and proper. And I said, so who is she? She said, well, she's, she's a qualified nurse, she's called Steph, she's absolutely gorgeous, she's absolutely knockout. I genuinely look around the room and the people that you've met, the support that you've got from your family, you should be so, so proud and not just, not just you, but what you've created for this day. The pair of you are absolutely amazing. And if you would, if you want to be upstanding, ladies and gentlemen, I give you your bride and groom, Ian and Steph. smile, bigger on her face, she would have done. If she could go out more, she'd be more dynamic outside than she, she has been because of this bloke. So I, I just want to raise a toast. You don't have to stand up, guys. But to Tucker. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't know why he's gone home, because he's the main man. Tucker, thank God for Tucker. <laughs> <laughs>